veterinary medicine has come a long way. And so if you had a pet as a kid, what you remember about the veterinary care that could be provided is probably vastly different. There's not very much we can't do these days um, in terms of specialty care and providing really novel cutting edge therapies for pets. So this is Luigi. This yes. is Luigi and Luigi had a tumor on his back over there that was surgically removed but they weren't able to take it all out. So he finishes a course of radiotherapy today. He's, this is 20th treatment. This is your last treatment, Luigi. Yeah. So this system was designed for humans, but you're using it for dogs? Yeah, they don't make linear accelerators just for um, <laughs> dogs and cats, so, you know, or horses. And so we treat dogs, cats, and horses with this. And so it's one of the most advanced machines available for it. It has a built-in CT scanner. Vet techs, Lindsay and Michelle, got to work prepping Luigi for treatment. For Dr. Kent, the challenge will be delivering the proper dose of radiation, but staying clear of Luigi's spine. This high-tech machine will help, but the patient must be kept still. For that, he's placed on a bed specifically molded to his body. I have to sculpt the dose around his spinal cord. So in order to do that, I have to have him in the same position each time. So it's, it's taking multiple images and then it's going to reconstruct them into like a basically almost a 3D re uh, image as he is fine mm -hmm. right now. If we're not well positioned, we can uh, make uh, subtle adjustments using the computerized couch. I'm going to just sign off on it and then we'll go inside and make those shifts. I've been doing this over 20 years now and the technology has just really just move forward with so much we can do better. You know, we, we, do, we treat a lot more brain tumors now. Mm -hmm. um, we're able to really target things that we couldn't even do before. He's now done 20 <laughs> treatments. He he's graduating. Yeah, he's graduating. <laughs> He'll go home this afternoon when his mom comes uh -huh. to get him. We've taken the best of what's been learned from human medicine and applied it to dogs. I mean, that's the whole concept of one medicine. It's understanding that Animals and diseases are very similar or the same as diseases in humans and being able to take what we learn in one and apply it to the other and that works both ways.